Otherwise, traffic looks smooth and we should be in for a fabulous day. Hold on, what's this? Breaking news? Oh my goodness, apparently there has been a Yeti sighting and we have a live video crew on site. Let's take it down to Chuck and see what he has discovered. Thanks, Billy. This is extremely exciting. We have an eyewitness report that a disc golf Yeti was sighted around here this morning. We will stake out this basket as this particular Yeti is extremely proficient in putting. Whoa, what was that? This could be him. It is him. Excuse me. Yo, Yeti. We'd like to know what you throw. Yes, all of your golf discs. Sweet as. He's going to give us a look. All right, so you guys want to see what's in my bag? In my disc golf bag, I can show you. Uh, well, see, first of all, I'm, I'm super proud to be uh, carrying a, a grip equipment bag. Uh, it's been an awesome change. Uh, I've used to use one of the longer ones uh, that kind of kept on slapping the bottom of your back and after a end of a two-day round uh, you definitely felt it uh, i feel this is a pretty quality mold on fitting to your back and making everything nice and snug and feeling good man they know what they're doing so i love my bag got some cool things on my bag i guess i got a i got the number one team hill country uh, tag right now the gold roach so that's cool i got uh my mini marker very cool this is from Thomas Strickland, fully loaded disc golf. Very beautiful, made it custom for me. You notice it's kind of a revolver. It's got one shot left in the chamber. It's the way I like to treat everything. One shot left, what are you gonna do? So very cool from fully loaded. Um, let's see, Sharpie, all that good stuff. Uh, how about putters? Well, I think it should be probably self-explanatory, right? Yeti Pro Aviar, love it. Uh, Big props to Innova Champion Disc for recognizing uh, my third putting world title. Uh, talked about what I liked in the putter. Came up with an awesome mold. I backed it up by winning my fourth world title with the Yeti. So, thumbs up from me. Uh, I love the Yeti Pro Aviar though. It's a, it's a great disc. Uh, it actually has a concaveness to it that is on purpose. It basically lowers the profile. It tracks very good. Um, I carry two Yetis actually, and um, my philosophy there is that, you know, your putter should be just for putting. So I use a nice clean Yeti Pro Aviar just for putting. Why do I do that? It's got the same feel in my hand every single time. It's got that consistency that you gotta love about a, having a putter. And uh, I'm not worried about losing it because I'm just using it for putting. I'm not worried about it hitting rocks and getting ground up because it's just used for putting. You know, it's the same feel every single time. Now I do have another Yeti. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Custom Yeti done by an artist out of Austin, Texas. Where's my disc? This one is used uh, for driving and for approach shots. This does all the utility work. Uh, the Yeti is a great disc point and shoot. It works awesome on a forehand, any kind of angle. But for driving, a uh, little bit of a hyzer line angle and it snaps dead straight up and this baby will go for me you know 200 to 280 feet on a dead straight line i love the consistency about it um fun to have custom discs i've got some uh, if you're interested in some custom uh, yeti stamps yetidisc.com disc nation is carrying them as well as uh, all kinds of other great plastic as well i do use one other type of putter this is actually a, an out of production. Uh, this is a Bulldog. A lot of newer players don't even know what this disc is when they see me use it. Uh, it's a utility for me. Um, it's really an overstable, very beefy, stiff disc. It is a great headwind putter. So when there's a nice headwind, I'll pull this out with confidence. Feels good in my hand. It's also great for hook shots, making putts around trees and obstacles, as well as for approaching into a headwind or anything that I want to go anchoring down from right to left. Uh, great, 
great disc with the bulldog there. I, I like that a lot. Um, let's see. See what's in my side pouches here today. Oh, nice. Well, you gotta always carry around a little disc golf trophy guy, right? Everyone's gotta have a little trophy guy. Uh, keep your eye on the prize, right? That's what that's about. I mean, uh, uh, that's what we're all after is, uh, is, is some wins and some trophies. And uh, well, let's face it, you know, I'm, uh, I'm good enough and I'm strong enough and doggone it, people like me. Uh, let's see, I got, oh, <laughs> nice, sub sandwich. You guys at Spin TV, man, you guys work really hard, man. Here, have, have a little lunch there. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is very important, very important, very important. <laughs> the bull, the bull whip. I mean, bad card mates, whoosh, discs that don't do what you want, whoosh, very important. Very important. Oh yeah, and <laughs> who doesn't like a good birdie train, right? You know how it is. You go, par birdie, birdie, par birdie, birdie. <laughs> All right. Uh, mid ranges. Let's see. Mid ranges. Uh, I, I carry a, several different types of mid ranges. Um, mostly the Rock, though. Rock, uh, one of the all-time best discs of all time. You guys are gonna drool over this one. My go-to number one. Dun, 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 behold. Yeti, what are you doing throwing that expensive disc in your bag? I don't know, guys. I mean, discs are made for throwing. In fact, uh, unfortunately, I just broke my first one of these. But guess what? It was a workhorse in my bag since 2001 when they first came out. I couldn't believe I had an opportunity to buy all these. The boxes came out at the Am Worlds in Nashville. And Innova brought out all these discs. And they were blowing people's minds not because they knew what these were it was because they were charging 25 bucks a piece who could who could afford a 25 dollar disc in 2001 and i was a broke college kid and yeah in fact i only bought one and i actually had to write a check for it <laughs> but i threw it and i ended up falling in love with it so thanks to some other good people like uh nature boy billy crump and uh hall of famer dustin don hoffman and justin McLuhan. Uh, you know, they hooked me up with some some of these extras and I'm still throwing them today guys and uh, awesome disc This is super trusty dead straight solid finish always can trust the CE1 Never around water though uh, Let's see my other rock then uh, would be just a rock three um, This is a good all-purpose utility type of a rock fast spinning good glide uh, love the rock three I also use, uh, when I want more glide or more of a turnover, I'm actually going to use a, a Mako. Really enjoy the Mako. I like the Coyote when it came out. Uh, the Mako seems like it's got just that little bit extra glide and it's a little more point and shoot. Uh, like it a lot. Uh, they came out with some other discs lately too. The Lycan is similar. Um, the, the Dart's pretty impressive that uh, uh, when it's got a stiffer mold. Um, you know, but the Mako is, uh, feels good to me. I like a nice stiff Mako there. And then, uh, of course, when the wind picks up and utility-wise, uh, who doesn't like a Gator? So I, I do like a Gator. Now, most people are tuned into the Big Bead Gator. Um, I never got any of those to start with. Uh, the first Gators I tried were the Beadless. So that's actually what I gravitated to. I have thrown the Big Beads and I like them a lot. They're actually a little more stable, I feel, than these. But for my arm speed, uh, this does me real well for trick shots, uh, utility, kind of in the wind, great, trusty uh, upshot disc. Um, and uh, my fairway drivers then I'll go into, um, I think that the most under appreciated and underrated disc out there is the, uh, is the Leopard. The Leopard. Um, fantastic disc all the way around if you play in any wooded courses at all this is your best friend this disc when thrown on a hyzer line will flip up and go super straight through woods tightly gapped woods that you'd never think that you'd get through um, I can throw this uh, with less power 280 with big power 320 is about the max out on the leopard for me when it's thrown flat it does uh, a really nice uh, little uh, turn for me. So you can get that left to right. 
on a high type of a shot, it'll carry that line from left to right. Those are the great things that people normally think about the Leopard. But obviously the flip and fly is the key to making any of these discs work. And in the end, that's what we want. We're just the apparatus. You know, we apply the spin and momentum to the disc. In the end, you want all the discs to work for you. So it's very important to choose the appropriate discs. I've got one that is straight and maybe a little bit of a slow turn. And then I've got another one that's very new that's actually going to fade and finish a little bit to the left. So I kind of got the right and the left uh, finishes in my Leopards. Two of those. Um, I've also got kind of a in-between disc that's kind of a leopard cross T-bird. Um, this is the TD, the turning driver from Dismania. Super solid. All the C-line plastic is excellent feeling. Um, some of the bigger discs like the PD-2, too much disc for me. Um, one of the things I'll talk about with the drivers is just it's so important to know your arm speed. You know, they, they have so many discs that are out there. It's just absolutely key to know your arm speed because that's going to dictate what discs are going to work the best for you. The, the TD is a flip and fly straight. This will get up to 350 for me um, on that same kind of leopard line, just a little bit more. It's got a good fade. It's also got a really nice power high turnover that will go left to right for a good ways for me. Uh, that's the TD. And then uh, I carry a Roadrunner. Roadrunner, super tailwind disc. Again, flip and fly and let it go. This disc can now uh, get up to 360, even 380 sometimes with the right type of a wind. Um, little effort. Um, it's a good utility disc. People use these for rollers, uh, for big high smashing turnovers left to right. Um, I've got a good batch of these uh, that I, I did up with some cool custom Yetis as well. This one's from an uh, artist out of Austin as well, Zam Mason. It's the Baskets Beware disc. Very cool. Um, so the Roadrunner, nice good feeling there. I like the Star Plastic for the most part, but you'll see me use both, uh, uh, you know, all Champion Pro and Star, kind of just depending on the, the plastic. I really like a stiffer plastic versus something that's loose and gummy. Um, you know, that's all just personal preference, especially with people's different tactile feelings they have. So, yeah, let's see what's in this side of the bag here. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, Freebirds Monster Burrito. Sorry, Spin TV, not sharing that with you. That's for later. Uh, let's see. Oh, beautiful. Got to have the, got to have the fan beads, huh? Who that say they're gonna beat them Saints? Who that? Who that? Ah, energy. If you if the sub doesn't do it, the burrito doesn't do it. I like a kind bar. These are awesome, all natural. Uh, a lot of good nuts and crunchy things in them. Those are awesome. Birdie bag. When it's wet, when it's uh, sweaty, hot. Grip control. Birdie bag. Gotta have that in the bag all the time. PDJ rule book. I can't believe how many people don't carry this. What's going on? You call yourself a professional. It's all right here. At least know the rules. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is cool. Nice. These are awesome. This is a, a small axe, a uh, little combined putter uh, and driver from this nation. These are awesome. I carry uh, my LED glow lights in there. Haha. <laughs> Got $5. It's for your next ace. Do it. So very cool, that's awesome. That can be got at destination, those are cool. Uh, and uh, this is also important as well, a little utility bag, got some uh, alcohol wipes, got some uh, you know Band-Aids type of stuff. And if you're not clued into uh, liquid skin, this is an awesome invention here. It's a, kind of a liquid emulsifier that, uh, it's an antiseptic. It, anytime you get a cut or something like that, you can put that on and it'll basically form a new layer of skin so you're not constantly, if you got cracking hands or anything, super liquid skin. And yeah, let's see what we got in here. Drivers. I carry a good number of drivers, but um, you know, really it boils down to just really a few couple molds. Um, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of the, of the T-Bird, uh, you know, 
between the AVR, the Rock, and the T-Bird, you've got the greatest three discs that have ever been uh, made in the triangular beveled edge. Um, Ken Climo uh, basically won most of his world championships using the T-Bird and the Rock and the AVR. I mean, that, you know, what better, uh, what better uh, uh, accolade do you need than that? But the T-Bird is just a fantastic disc. It's very point and shoot friendly. They make a lot of, Innova Champion makes a lot of different types of plastics and molds in the T-Bird because uh, it's such an all around great disc. Little variances do different things. So this is a star T-Bird. It's actually pretty flat. It's stiff. It's got a little tackiness to it. This is my utility. I can flip this up and it'll go straight, just like my TD, but it'll get a little more distance to it. Um, down a wooded path anyway. The TD will f flow a little bit. It gets a little more of an S type of a situation where this star T-Bird pops up, goes super straight, gets a little finish to it. Um, if I need to throw a big hyzer with a slow amount of disc speed, another great disc for that. It's going to be a slow chugger, but it's going to be able to get there and trust it. I, I believe in it. Um, and then I've got a sweetie, collectors, oh boy, you know what this is. The old frosty white KC Pro T-Bird, fantastic disc. I trust this baby into headwinds. Uh, this is my nice big fade right to left uh, speed control type of shots. Um, all around fantastic disc. Just love the T-Bird. And you know, I like the champion style in this. Uh, it just feels good, good plastic. Um, drivers, drivers, my go-to all around drivers, the, uh, the Destroyer. Uh, fantastic disc and uh, I'm one of those guys that kind of uh, watched technology explode in front of my eyes as I learned how to play um, you know the first big distance disc for me was actually uh, a cheetah and I learned how to flip and fly it and uh, watch the this disc just take off and then uh, you know I threw some other different molds but the orc came along and uh, changed my game. Instant dis distance, I called it. I couldn't believe how much extra distance you got out of this orc. Then came the wraith. The wraith was then again another step up from the orc, but still acted very similar. A disc that you can throw hard and trust your arm speed with, and it's gonna flip up and carry that line and then have a really nice fade for a right-hander to the left. When the destroyer came out, orc, wraith, it turned into the next big disc for me um, and uh, I've been using it ever since in different types of form. In fact, I carry two of the very same disc. In fact, I highly recommend, uh, you know, when you find a disc that you like, it is so vital in today's game that you invest in your own game and buy as many as you can afford. Let, let, let's face it, uh, these are all petroleum products. It's an imperfect science. Every manufacturer deals with different discs and different runs are going to act a little bit different. It's just the nature of the game. It happens to all manufacturers. It's not just one or two. It's all of them. So if you invest in your own game and get the same disc at the same time, not only do you have multiple discs to practice with, you've got backups, you're not afraid of losing one, and you can incorporate them into your game at different times. So I use this nice, uh, my weight ranges for drivers. I'm really uh, very happy with about a 168 to 171. I rarely don't use uh, just heavyweight discs now for my mid ranges, my putters, and my overstable discs. I'll use some heavier discs, but I found that my arm speed um, uh, dictates a nice lighter, little lighter weight range. And these destroyers are, are the flat top variety um, and um, 169 both of them. I've got one that's beat in that I'm gonna flip up and it's gonna go super straight, maybe slight little turn as it finishes. Then I've got one that's gonna flip up, go super straight, and then give me a nice finish at the end. And then Captain America, this baby's domey. This is actually too much disc for me on a normal day, but when the wind kicks up, now all of a sudden, boom, I'm trusting this puppy into the wind. It's not gonna get me as much distance, but when it gets windy and stuff, you kinda gotta play a little bit more composed and a little more conservative and make your disc do what it, you know, it's supposed to do. Let the disc do the work and fly. So this one's uh, uh, just a nice poppy top, uh, Avery Jenkins, uh, beautiful destroyer there. Good choice, Avery. Great disc, man. Um, let's see, utilities. 
got uh, everybody's favorites here. I've got a uh, ACU Wildcat Disc Golf. This is a Champion Excalibur. Um, I designed the course on the Abilene Christian University's campus. Very cool. Uh, they sell these in their bookstore. I think that's awesome. It just turns people onto the game. But the Excal, very flat, very stiff, and um, a very high speed. I like the T-Rex as well. When the Excal came out, same type of disc, more speed. You know, let's face it, speed equals distance. And, uh, you know, when you're aging and you're losing distance, you're trying to do the things that it takes to get more distance. So the Excal is one that I can throw um, basically flat and let it hook hard finish uh, to the left. I can throw my spike hyzers with this disc, very trustworthy. It's going to come right back on the arc that I'm designing it on. This is also a fantastic forehand disc, so I'll use this for forehands as well. It's got a fat rim. I like that. Big hands. And then the old trusty Firebirds of any type, really. I happen to have, uh, you know, some of the good old C plastic still. So, nice flat Firebird. Uh, it's, it's, here's an interesting thing that's happened in technology. You know, it used to be all the rims were about this width. And uh, in generalities, the, the less width in the rim of the disc... And the flatter the disc, the more stable it is. So with Firebirds, when you get a Domi Firebird, it might be overstable, but it's going to have a little more glide to it. The flatter Firebirds are going to be very overstable, dramatically. Versus now we go to the wider rim discs, and technology changes that with the physics. As the wing starts to bend down and be wider, the more dome on a wider disc equals more stability. So that's why we get those poppy top destroyers are way more overstable than the flat versions. So I like a flat Firebird. Again, utilities. I'll use this in the woods. Skip shots, forehands that I need to go straight first and then hook up. Um, I don't throw very many of them because it's really hard on your rotator cuff, but uh, uh, thumbers, uh, things that that I'm in trouble with utility wise. Um, I use a thinner rim disc because it feels just much better in the power central of the hand right there. Um, so those are those. And then I got a couple of distance drivers um, that I use, um, including the, this is a Champion Katana, flat. It's got the wider rim, but it's flat. So it's actually very stable. What I use this for is, is this is a good S-shot type of disc. Sometimes you're dealing with holes where you actually need it to go to the right, but then come back to the left. I can trust this disc to flip up, go to the right, but always come back. It's got a good speed to it. It's a champion katana. Very different than the star katana and even the pro katana. Um, those will vary depending on the dome. You can see how flat the... Uh, katana champion version is and uh, also love throwing these discs too it's got the educational disc golf experience stamp on it uh, it's great to support these guys and uh, um, what's going on there edge if you don't know them uh, check them out it's helping grow the sport for all of youth uh, out there in fact um, just last year edge uh, put 10,000 lightweight discs into kids hands i think that's just amazing when you consider that each of the most of those discs went to schools five to ten kids through each disc uh edge affected tens of thousands of our future of our sport just last year go edge and um probably the newest disc that's made my bag a lot of the new discs um you know i love them i try them out but i've got backups and i'm, I'm tried and true on a lot of my things but uh uh, instant game changer for me is the is the turn. Um, beautiful new disc and for Innova Champion. I love the turn in the Jolly Launcher plastic. Very stiff. You can see it's got a little dome to it, um, but it just feels great in my hand. Beefy. It's got a medium width on the rim, but this type of turn, um, basically I describe it as a super fast, super glidey T-Bird. It's got some of those same characteristics. I can flip it up and let it fly. It's gonna do a little dance, but I'm gonna get major distance based on the speed and the glide of the disc. A great disc for medium arm speed guys. You're not gonna see some of the uh, you know, super big arm guys like Avery Jenkins and David Wiggins out there. You know, they're not gonna 
throw this type of a disc unless it's a tailwind because they've got fast arm speed. I can't stress out how important it is to learn and know your arm speed because it really becomes a, a key to the door of the plastic world. If you're throwing discs that are way too stable for you, you're not doing yourself any justice. There's two big tips right here. You want to use the least stable disc and the lightest weight for your arm speed. You know, that's a variable. So once you learn your arm speed, you're going to start dialing in these different types of discs that you can go throw like that and let it flip up. And again, let the disc do the work, right? Um, I also use a, an EcoStar turn. Funny, same same disc, but the plastic makes a difference. Jolly launcher turn, very stable um, comparatively. I wouldn't throw the turn in a headwind, in any headwinds, because they do have a negative two on it. In fact, the star and the eco star have a negative four. So that shows you how the plastic can impact the stability of the disc. It's a 12 speed, it's a six glide, but it's a negative two here, which means that um, if I threw this out of machine, it's going to go negative one, negative two, plus one, plus two. Whereas this disc is going to go negative one, two, three, four, and back one, two. So potentially much more distance, especially with the tailwind, but also a little less control. So I really only throw this on booming type of shots where I've got a trusty wind, especially a tailwind to help me out, or a left to right wind, and I need to go left to right, this thing's going to go over 400 feet, uh, and hopefully uh, in the circle where I want it to be at. But uh, those are my discs. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed uh, talking with y'all, and um, I don't think I got... Oh, no way I do this. you got to be kidding me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> This is a Torchy's taco left over from uh, the weekend. Uh, well, this is over, right? Are we done here? All right, cool. Hey, guys. Oh, man, this is good. Hey, Spin TV, I'm not quite done yet. It was a good taco, though. Uh, I, I really have to thank Innova Champion Disc from everything that I've done in my uh, career. It's been uh, awesome to have super solid, consistent plastic to be working with out there. Uh, they, they just support the sport so much, uh, and myself and, uh, and Des. Uh, they're, they're great, man. I gotta give them props. I also gotta thank Keen Footwear. They keep my shoes and my feet super happy. Uh, I am looking for the left side for these shoes though, so help me out there. Uh, grip equipment, awesome. Disc Nation, if anybody needs discs out there, Disc Nation's got them all. They got a try before you fly, driving center, and uh, check out yetidisc.com. We're gonna make a lot of uh, videos out there and uh, do some cool things on the road this year, and you know, who knows, maybe you too can get you some. Now I'm done. <laughs>